Hello there researchers, I hope you are doing great. In this video I'm going to share with you the ultimate way of how to interpret uh, Likert scale or Likert scales. Uh, so as you know Likert scale is commonly used when it comes to data uh, collection. But uh, there are a lot of difficulties that are involved in it. So I advise you to watch this tutorial till the end because I'm going to share with you some templates and some resources and references that will help you write up the results. All right. So I'm going to start as follows. So I'm going to start with the telling you some differences uh, between uh, lacquer type items and lacquer scales because many researchers confuse the two types according to Clayson and Dormdy 1994 he described the difference between lacquer type items and lacquer scales uh, in several ways first lacquer type items when we have some items uh, that need to be analyzed like uh, like questions that are in the form of lacquer scale either forced four point lacquer scale or five point lacquer scale from strongly disagree to strongly agree I'm going to share with you some files to see uh, so each type is considered or each question is considered the separate variable but for liquid scales here uh, when we have a set of items that are combined together to form a composite variable like uh, the uh, professional burnout scale and we have like some items when uh, their like overall mean score is computed they represent uh, the, the this uh, burnout thing okay so this is the difference between lacquer type items and lacquer scales okay so this is what you should keep in mind and you should also keep in mind that the, there is this difference uh, in terms of the level of measurement we have nominal data in which we have categories like gender male and female respondents etc and we have ordinal data that is data that can be uh, ordered like from the lowest to the highest uh, there is a ranking logic in terms of the uh, options and we have alter interval data uh, here we have uh, let, let's say maybe the degrees of uh, let's say temperature or uh, something like this and ratio data in which we have decimals uh, therein and fractions okay so these are the different types of uh, you know or levels of measurement that you should keep in mind so Likert scale data can take either the form of ordinal data or uh, even ratio data so it can be even in the form of ratio data and this is what we are going to see then we have five point Likert scale so the logic is as follows so we take uh, five minus one is four and we divide four uh, by five so it gives us uh, 0 0.8 and we take 1 plus uh, 0 0.8 and it gives us 1.8 uh, okay so we take this and we give range so we have 1 to 1.8 so when we compute the mean score of uh, Likert scale of 5 point Likert scale we should get this number so if we get this number this means that the majority of the respondents strongly disagree with the the item in question okay and we add uh, one so we took 1.8 and we add one and then we will have 1.9 uh, plus 0 0.8 gives us like 2.6 so this should be dot instead of uh, this uh, symbol and then we have 2.6 plus uh, 3 or this is like the range 3.4 and then 3.5 4.2 and the last one 4.3 to 5 so this corresponds to strongly agree this means that when we compute the mean score of each Likert statement uh, and we have the mean score corresponding to the range uh, of one of these uh, these four or five ranges this can give us the automatic uh, let's say label either strongly disagree this range or disagree this range or neither agree nor disagree uh, nor disagree this range okay just or disagree as you can see or agree or strongly agree so these are the ranges and these are some suggested readings okay some suggested readings uh, you can I highly recommend some of them like Leckert 1932 this is the original article 
and there is another article by Bone and Bone 2012 this is also good okay if we see this uh, example here we have some items that correspond to lacquer type items so for let's say uh, this one to this one so these are all items so this is like lacquer type uh, items or questions but if we compute the overall mean score of these items this will give us Likert scale okay and we have this calculated here there are some videos on how to do that you will find them attached in the description box or the command section okay so you can just uh, reduce all those items into one variable and you give it a title anyway now we go to how we can analyze the and get the mean score so we go to analyze and go to descriptive uh, stats okay so let's do it again descriptive stats and descriptives and i'm going to move the item or the items that i need to analyze flaccid scale date okay so once moved just click control and I select all of them and then go to options I can check the mean even the sum instead of the minimum and maximum I can cho uh, choose the range and the standard deviation this is measure of dispersion okay and click ok continue and ok do it for the output as you can see here so the, the n is the number of the respondents the range that we have from 1 to 5 so 4 and we have the sum and they have we have the mean so as you can see here the mean is 4.25 and if we go back uh, for Likert scale uh, 4.20 this means strongly agree so this means the majority of the respondents by the way I'm going to share with you this file in case you have 3 point Likert scale 5 point or even 7 point Likert scale data so you will find it in the description box below and or even in the command section okay so this will help you interpret the the you know the mean score that you will get for each item okay so this is how we go about interpreting the mean score of each item this is uh, what concerns lacquer type questions but when i want to compute the overall mean score i will just go back to spaces i'm going to show you the way i go to transform compute variable and i go here and i choose statistical and then mean and move it and i keep moving the items like the seven items or so items that constitute uh, this regular assignment of homework thing okay till i finish so when i finish i will have a uh, new variable that is created i can name it here regular assignment of homework okay so i'm not going to do this because there are already some videos on it so you can just check them you will find the link below uh, so i have already computed that and i called it assignment regular assignment homework so i need to do the same procedure to compute the mean score of the overall lacquered scale okay so i can go to analyze and go to descriptive stats and then descriptive so i'm going to click reset to remove the items chosen earlier and i go to regular assignment i move it to the variables view go to options do the same thing minimum maximum sum and range and um, so some can be used also so just um, checking the best parameters here click continue and then okay and i have the main score so this is the main score so if we go back to the interpretation table uh, so the main score uh, falls just to make sure uh, it is uh, in the output view it's 3.86 so here uh, 3.80 so here we have uh, 3 points so it's between so agree so the majority of the respondents agree because the mean score falls in this uh, range or even strongly agree because 3 or rather just agree because 3.81 is between 3.40 and 4.20 so I'm going to share with you references uh, you can notice this study they use the same so this is the range that they use and they assign the values and the range so you can take this as a standard scoring range of Likert scale of the survey so I can share with you this study you can see this one uh, has applied let's say KMO uh, Kaiser Mayer Orkin test and factor analysis anyway I'm going to share with you this study and I'm going to share with you other studies that will help you 
understand how you can go about analyzing Likert scale data. And uh, if you have questions or remarks, do not hesitate to put them below or contact me via one of my social media. And see you in another tutorial. Bye for now.